Hi there folks, Colin Tyler here at Woodridge Ford and today we're going to look at how to set up and how to use Apple CarPlay in your SYNC 3 enabled Ford vehicle. So start, what is Apple CarPlay? So Apple CarPlay, as Apple likes to call it, is your personal co-pilot. Now the Apple CarPlay itself is actually all in your Apple phone. Now, what this means is any phone, iPhone 5 or higher, running an iOS of 7 or higher, is going to have the ability to connect to Apple CarPlay. As you upgrade your phone, the Apple, Ar Apple CarPlay is going to upgrade with it. So there isn't a lot of worry about having to upgrade your SYNC 3 system. Now, we're going to hop right in here how to connect your phone and your Apple CarPlay to your Ford. First, you're going to need a lightning enabled cable. You're going to go down here, choose one of the two USB ports. You can plug it in this end. Now, as we just saw, I did something quite amazing there. I plugged a USB in on the first try. Second, going to plug in your Apple lightning into your phone. It's probably going to ask you, you'll feel the little double bump because it says it wants access. Once you've got access, you're going to see this screen right here come up. It will say Apple CarPlay. Some sync services will be replaced while connected. CarPlay can be disabled in settings and we'll show you how to do that as well. So the settings that are going to be disabled are the navigation and a couple of the phone settings because what it's going to do it's going to run through your personal device here so you've got your choice you can either disable right off the bat or continue obviously we're going to hit continue now my phone right now is running 13.5 on a 3.3 sync 3 device you're going to have your privacy and terms come up so we've got Apple CarPlay may collect vehicle data, fuel level, all of that. Just your normal stuff, avoid distractions, use voice control. So we're going to agree here. Next one is going to be your 911 assist. You can set that to on and in case of a crash, it will automatically call 911 for you. We are going to skip this step right now and it's indexing my phone. And you're going to see the buttons at the bottom have just changed here and it will say unlock your phone to start carplay so what's going to happen is if you look at my screen here it's just showed so i've unlocked carplay and we've now got carplay up here so it will say on your phone screen as well allow carplay with sync 3 while phone is unlocked you're going to say allow now you're fully set. You can put your phone down here. Again, 2019 Titanium Edge and further you have the charge pad while your phone is connected. It's not going to charge on you. So you can just put it down there. No problems. I'm going to turn off the music for now. Right now you're seeing the home menu. So we have a map showing our current location. You can go into that easy hop back to the menu, access your Apple Music, and this is going to be the two big buttons here. One, Home, is going to take you to your personal location. And then you have your favorites next. This is going to take you back. These eight buttons here, when you click on those, are going to take you into your full menu. From here you can access phone, your music, you have your Ford Sync, so you, if you're looking for your climate, maps, which will take you back to the Apple ones, or your personal audio through the Ford Sync, so radio, FM. Going back here, we just have to hit the Apple CarPlay button, and it's going to take us back to the menu. Going through, you can see any app that has been updated to work with Apple CarPlay is going to be fully available here. So say I want to listen to some music, I can easily go into Apple I, or in this case YouTube. And one big note here, if you're streaming music, it is going to take data. About an hour of streaming takes up roughly 
Well, it's about five megabytes per song, so it is going to take up a little chunk of data. Highly recommend if you have a music service downloading. Just scroll through, you can see all your playlists, new releases, charts. Going back, again, audiobooks, any music you want, you can access settings. So while you're driving, you can set up a Do Not Disturb, and you can activate with Apple CarPlay. And what this will do, it will stop people calling you and doing work. Uh, appearance, you can set to either have it always dark if you like the dark look, or automatic, which during the day will be a lighter setting. Siri can do suggestions in dashboard, and you can show album art. Going back to home here, one of the other big features is you're getting the use of Siri through your hands-free device. So, say I want to call Woodridge Ford or call home, I just hold down the button and say, hey Siri, call home. Calling home. home. And it starts calling home. Just press to turn off and you're good to go. And this also works for your music. Hey Siri, put on a peppy playlist for me. I think. I'm, I'm going to be in. We'll be in. To do that, you'll need an Apple Music subscription. So, as you see, I don't have an Apple Music subscription, but if I'd asked it to do it through. YouTube Music, we'd have seen it activate. So that about wraps it up. One last thing I will show you before we go here is if you want to disconnect Apple CarPlay, you can go into Apple CarPlay Preferences, hit this button right here, and it's going to turn off your Apple CarPlay. Now, say you don't want to use this phone anymore, you may be getting rid of the vehicle, or you may be getting rid of the phone. Hopefully it's the latter. You're just going to hit remove iPhone. Yes. And we're back to the start. And that's where it is. You got any other questions, feel free to give us a call. 403-253-2211. Or look us up at woodridgeford.com. Hopefully this has been helpful for you.